Greetings, it's Eric Backer, naturopath from New Zealand, author of Candida Crusher. I often get asked questions from people with different types of yeast infection on how they can cure these conditions at home, how they can get rid of it without incurring consultation fees or doctor's visits or things like that. So I've got a question here from a lady in Japan regarding toenail fungus. So toenail fungus is quite common with Asian people, just like it is with people in America and Europe uh, and here in Australia and New Zealand. It's a very common condition that affects a lot of people. And this lady, I've got a long email from her, sounds like she works in an office and she's got, you know, stockings on and things like that. So she's got quite, you know, feet sort of they're contained in an environment all the time, which is conducive towards yeast infection. So I made a couple of notes here on some of the best home remedies, which I think are really, really good to use for yeast infection. And uh, this will give us some very good advice. Apple cider vinegar is a very good home remedy to use. Just to bathe your foot each evening for about 20 minutes. And you just use about half a cup, third to a half a cup of apple cider vinegar in a small amount of water, just enough to put your foot in. So I know Japanese people have got small feet, so this will mean maybe a small container. So tepid water, apple cider vinegar, soak the foot for 20 minutes and then dry it carefully. Olive leaf extract. You can get different concentrations of olive leaf extract. This is going to help quite well too. Olive leaf has got to have some very interesting compounds <clears throat> about it that are very antimicrobial. I've got some patients in fact here in New Zealand I know that actually get olive leaves and boil and simmer them and then actually cool that water down and use that for toenail fungus, so that works quite well too. Tea tree oil is probably one of the best essential oils you can use. The two best essential oils I think for, for toenail fungus would be um, oregano oil, or we call it oregano oil here, and tea tree oil. So oregano oil is much stronger, and you often will mix this in with a little bit of carrier oil, like jojoba oil or almond oil, or sunflower oil. Just put a couple of drops of oregano oil in a teaspoon and massage it into the toe and the nail area. Tea tree oil you can apply neat. I find it works best one drop on each nail. The hardest part is getting it under the toenail. So you need to really trim or have those nails right back and sand them until you can get the oil underneath the nail. If you can do that, and do that every day, you will go a long way to achieving this a cure for this condition. Baking soda is another very good thing you can use because it has an interesting alkalizing effect. Okay, so baking soda is also good for neutralizing stomach acid, but it's particularly good for toenail fungus. So just by using baking soda uh, on its own in water, you know, again, a soak for 20 minutes, you'd probably use a good tablespoon for a small container of water, mix it in thoroughly, soak the foot. So one day you could do cider vinegar, the following day you could do baking soda. Uh, and then when the foot's dry, use the tea tree oil or the oregano oil for stronger treatment. Lavender oil is also nice to use because it's got such a nice fragrance about it and it also has good antimicrobial properties but not quite as good as tea tree oil. And of course probiotics. You now some people actually even bathe their feet in yogurt. You know, I've heard all sorts of things being done, but yogurt you put the uh, yogurt probiotics you take internally um, at the same time, you know, that you're treating your foot externally. Be sure to watch my other videos on uh, toenail fungus and have a look at some of my articles on yeastinfection.org. And while we're here, do my online quiz. It's the best one you'll find. CandidaCrusher.com. Check out my online quiz to see if you've got mild, moderate, or severe yeast infection. Because most people with toenail fungus will have some degree of candida in their digestive system. Particularly people who've had it chronically for many years and can't get rid of the toenail fungus. Or people who use Lamisil, uh, you know, or these sorts of drugs or creams to try and cure it, but then it comes back. You need to treat the whole person, not just the foot. So I hope that gives you some um, solutions there uh, in Japan for toenail fungus. Thank you for tuning in.